the Master Vegan here, and today I'm going to be talking about prickly pears. Now, prickly pears are actually also called cactus fruit, and you can see why. They are actually the fruit of a cactus, and you can see the little places where the spines grow out right here. As a matter of fact, when I was buying some of these yesterday, I got pricked a couple times with a spine just like that that you would find on a cactus. But don't worry, but when you get, get them at the store, the spines have almost always been cleaned off. That was just probably a fluke on my part. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to find out when your prickly pears are ripe, how to pick the best ones, and how to use them. So there's two different types of prickly pears. One is the purple variety, and the other is the green variety. And I hope you can see that there. So the purple variety are very easy to see when they're ripening because they start to get um, little ripening spots on them like every other type of fruit. You can see this one's starting to ripen and it's, you want them to be firm, you don't want them to be soft. They're kind of like um, gauging an avocado. You know, when they're firm, but they're sort of giving when you press on them a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. Now, the green variety are a lot more difficult to tell when they're ripening. This one, you can see it's ripening a little bit. And um, because of the ripening marks on here, I would assume that, yes, it is ripe. How to pick a prickly pear when you're at the store is just like a lot of different types of fruit. You're going to be looking for various different things. You're going to make sure that it's firm in your hand. You don't want any bruising. You want to check for any decay, any mold, any bruises, anything like that that lets you know that it's been either mishandled or possibly it um, was picked too soon or was um, just has some mold or mildew on it. So now that you found out that um, your prickly pears are ripe and that they're in good condition, let's go ahead and cut one up. First thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the ends off. Look at that color. That's quite different, isn't it? So we're going to cut the ends off of this and then we're going to make just a slight incision right here. Just a small incision because when you're going to peel a prickly, uh, prickly pear, you just have to peel off the skin. It's as simple as that. There we go. And the skin's been peeled off. And I'm going to do that with all three of these because I'm going to make a really delicious smoothie out of these. You don't have to make smoothies. You can also make um, you can also make fresh fruit plates with them. You can add them to uh, people make jellies. They make all kinds of things with them, but I prefer them in smoothies because you get sick of just eating the same fruit all the time in your smoothies, and you want something that tastes a little bit better, a little different. So let's go ahead and get these other two peeled. Once again, make sure that they're ripe, but not overripe. I was really, really fortunate to get these yesterday because right now I'm living in a very northern part of North America and they don't always have exotic fruit like this available to us. Now here's the green one, and I wasn't 100% sure if it's ripe, so let's check it out. Let's cut the end off. Oh, you see that? I don't know if that's just because it's the green type, or maybe it's not quite ripe there. Let's cut it and find out. This will be a great learning experience. I'm going to peel that off again. I'll just take a little taste. You can see the cactus seeds in there. 
I would say this one is not quite ripe yet. That's fine. We've got two that are. And we're going to add these two to a delicious smoothie. So I shall be right back and I'll show you how to make a great tasting smoothie. These prickly pears are full of fiber. About 20% of your daily intake and your, ne uh, your necessary amount of fiber. Same with vitamin C, about 20%. They're full of magnesium and they're going to go so good in a smoothie. I'll be right back and show you all the ingredients. And I'm back and let's go ahead and make this delicious smoothie with some prickly pear cactus. So the first thing we're going to do when we make my delicious, super vitamin, mineral enriched, antioxidant blast smoothie is we're going to go ahead and put the fruit in. So I have some prickly pear cactus here. I'm going to add to the bottom of the blender. I also have, and this is an unusual combination, but for some reason I love avocados. So if you're not a big, huge fan of avocados, go ahead and leave them out. I have some fresh mangoes, some organic apples, and an avocado chopped up. And that's going to go in next. I love avocados because of their anti-inflammatory properties, the healthy fat. There really is nothing that avocados don't have that you don't need on a daily basis. Okay, last ingredients is going to be my greens. So I've got approximately two cups of or organic washed spinach. And we're going to add that last. And for some reason, I always end up overflowing <laughs> my blender because I get a little bit crazy when it comes to adding the vegetables to it, but that's okay. The more the merrier. So let's go ahead and pour in the chia seeds. There we go. Don't, like, don't they look cool? You can see them all in there. All their little gelatinous wrappers. Just ready to scrub out your digestive system for you. And if you need some extra water, I've got some purified water right here. And I'm going to fill that up so that I can have a nice smoothie with a beautiful consistency. Okay. Let's go ahead and blend this up and see what the results are. Done. So let's get this smoothie poured and ready to serve. I can't wait. This looks so delicious and I know it's going to taste great. There we go. And my second serving. Now it's actually nothing for me to drink too or three green smoothies a day. I try to limit my fruit a little bit just because of the sugar content. I prefer to put in more vegetables, but every once in a while you get a splurge and make a delicious fruit smoothie. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve this up to my guest and drink one myself and we'll finish drinking this within about 10 to 15 minutes. That's how much we love our smoothies. So once again, this was the Master Vegan. Let's go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have delicious recipes on smoothies, vegan baked goods, pretty much anything that has to do with vegan. And um, this is MasterVegan.com, and I'll see you soon. Enjoy.